Surely the nobles wanted me off the property, and so it made no sense for anything to hinder me. I reached the gates in well under five minutes of leaving the room, and as soon as they opened, I drove onto the road. I saw the bus at once turning a bend on the far side of several fields. I sped out of sight of the camera by the gates and waited with my engine running. When the bus swung around a bend a few hundred yards ahead, I flashed my headlights. The bus began to slow down, and I glanced in the mirror, which showed me only the empty road. I was about to switch off the engine and step in front of the bus when a hand closed over my face. I might not have known it was a hand, given how the swollen fingers squirmed. Although I couldn't see it, I felt the cold, bloated fingertips grope everywhere on my face as if they were searching for a way in. Panic left me only remotely aware that I could still see the road and the bus. At least I could, until the fingers found my eyes and slithered into them. I felt the filaments of which the fingers were composed swarm deeper, and in a moment I was blind, or else my brain was no longer able to process my sight. My whole body convulsed, and the car lurched forward at speed as my foot slammed the accelerator down. I was terrified of colliding with the bus, and had just enough presence of mind to wrench the steering wheel to the left. I felt the car tilt into a ditch and thought at least this much was safe. Then an impact flung me sideways and my head struck the window so hard that the glass shattered, or my skull did. The last moment of consciousness felt as if the sky had collapsed to let in the dark. Oh, the 